I don't know about you, but I am constantly on the search for the perfect camera backpack. Right now, I primarily use two backpacks, one being the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, and the other being the Peter McKinnon Everyday Backpack. But I've been trying out a 20 litre backpack from VSGO for a month or so now, and to be honest, it's got me just a little bit closer to finding the perfect camera backpack. You may or may not have heard of VSGO. They mainly are known for making premium camera cleaning accessories such as sensor swabs and dust blowers. And as far as I'm aware, this is their first go at making a camera backpack. And like I said, I've been trying it for a few months now and I'm pretty impressed. So I'm very fussy when it comes to camera backpacks. So when VSGO reached out to me, I didn't have high hopes that it would tick the boxes I would want. When I looked at the bag, I was actually very impressed by how versatile the backpack is and it actually offers me something that none of my other backpacks do. So here's a quick look at the backpack. So what made me say yes to trying this backpack out again was its versatility. It has top access, it also has the rear access which I really need in a backpack, but it also has side access. So that is what made me want to give this camera backpack a try. So when I checked out the specs of the backpack, I was excited because I feel like it combined two of my favorite camera backpacks right now. My main camera backpack that I use pretty much daily up until the VSGO is the Peter McKinnon uh, Everyday Backpack. So up until now, this has been the closest thing to the perfect camera backpack for me. I'm a huge fan of top access in terms of getting my camera out quick. I love to store it in the top and get it out of the top. It has the standard rear access, which again, I find very important in a backpack. However, it does not have side access. So right now for certain shoots when I need side access, I'm taking the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. Now this camera backpack has top access, like the Peak McKinnon one, and it also has side access. However, it does not have the rear access. That's where the VSGO backpack comes in as it combines top access, side access, and your traditional rear access. So here's a look at the design of the backpack. It is all black, it's minimalist, and it's pretty sleek. And I like the form factor, it's not too big, and it is not too bulky. All you really have here is this VSGO design logo and this sort of unique open and close clasp for this top access area. So it is magnetized, but you just basically twist this clasp, it opens up. And what I really like is you can just let go of the top and nine times out of 10, it just grabs the clasp and it closes really nicely and really easily. You can just throw that shut on a shoot and it usually closes fine. Here's the back of the bag. The straps are very comfortable. It's got like a hard shell on the back. It's got a stern strap, luggage pass through as you would expect. Here's a look at the side where you have a roomy water bottle compartment slash tripod compartment on both sides. You also have this little metal, I guess it's for taking, putting on and off your tripod mount. You can open one of the side access pockets and you've got a few more pockets in here. There's a bunch of cool little touches on this backpack where they've just put a little bit of thought into ease of use. One being for your accessory straps on the side to attach your tripod. These kind of just pop up with a pull of a string and you can resize them really quick and really easily. I love that because I hate messing around with strap buckles. Here is the bottom of the backpack, which have these like plastic feet you would usually see on luggage. And this is awesome because what it allows the bag to do is stand up on its own, which is really useful on a shoe if it's packed full of gear. If you stand it up, it will stay like that. So I love the top access compartment on this camera. Again, it's so quick and easy to get into and it is so roomy inside that you could easily get something like an R3 in here or any kind of battery gripped camera. Like I said before, I've actually had the Canon C17 here with the RF 15 to 35, which is not a small camera and it fits in there so easy, even easier than the Pete McKinnon backpack. So that is great. There's also two mesh pockets in here 
which are great for things like filters and your tripod, base plates or anything small like that. So let's take a look at the main section where you're gonna be storing most of your camera gear. One area that 90% of camera backpack manufacturers fail at is the zips. They're usually really awkward to get around these bends. The SU have done a pretty good job with these. They're not too bad, much better than the Peter McKinnon one. So let's go inside. So here is the inside of the main compartment which is protected by this zip divider and it is your typical interior of most camera backpacks you get plenty of dividers you get long ones and the shorter ones for your lenses in general it's pretty roomy back here you can get two lenses and a camera body and a bunch of accessories in here you could probably even get three lenses but i'll show a few loadouts later you've got this mesh compartment at the top and of course you have your laptop compartment here which has this like magnetic buckle on it which is really cool as well as an area for your tablet so in terms of comfort i've been using this backpack a lot recently i've been trying out three camera bodies for a new video coming out and i've had them all in here and i found it really comfortable to be carrying a lot of camera gear the straps are really nice they don't dig in another thing worth mentioning that this backpack is a like a solid shell very similar to the peter McKinnon, mckinnon one so it offers a lot of protection for your camera gear even a drop in this backpack i would guess that your equipment is going to be just fine it is super solid and just looking at the materials again feels very similar to the peter mckinnon backpack i would guess this is pretty waterproof although i haven't tested it in any more than a light rain the materials in general feel very premium so let's take a look at a typical loadout that i would use this camera backpack for on a standard shoot where you may be taking two camera bodies and a few lenses so starting with this top compartment I have the R5 with the RF 85mm 1.2 and it fits in there absolutely fine. If anything, there is room to spare. Like I said, you can get a C70 in there, you could get an R3 in there, no problem at all, you could put a grip on this. So that would be my quick access main camera on the top. For other stuff like in this mesh compartment, I have some more batteries and in the second mesh compartment I have an action cam. So that's pretty much as much as I would pack in this top compartment. So let's move on to the back. So here is what I would typically pack inside this main compartment. So I have a second camera body. This is, oh, this is the R5. So the one was the R6 Mark II with the RF 24 to 70 lens on. Fits in there, no problem at all. I would also typically pack two more lenses. Um, probably wouldn't be these two, but I just wanted to show you this is the 15 to 35 stood up which is something i really love about this backpack is your larger lenses will go in here stood up and it doesn't dig into your back at all thanks to that solid shell on the back and that means you can get a surprising amount in this even though this compartment is probably smaller than the peter mckinnon one i find you can get more lenses in just because you can stand up bigger lenses and you don't have to put them on their side. The last lens I have in here, I'm just showing off at this point because this is seriously impressive, is the RF 70 to 200 lens. And this is the only backpack of this kind that I own that you can fit this lens in stood up. And the final thing I have is just some filters here. Another good place for small accessories like filters is this side pocket that I showed earlier. Sometimes, I will just slot these in here like that and close that up. So my usual go-to tripod is the Peak Design tripod and it fits in here perfectly. I'll show that in now. So there it is with the Peak Design tripod. Fits in there perfectly, does not rattle at all. I love that. But as you may have guessed, no camera backpack is probably ever gonna be perfect. And there are a few areas I would like to see VSGO improve on this backpack in the future. One area is this top access clasp. And as much as I like it, and I think it's a creative idea and nine times out of 10, it works flawlessly. I can't help but feel it would have been better in the center. Then you don't have this flap of material here and it may just look a little more aesthetically pleasing too. The other thing with this clasp is when you're going to be putting the backpack down onto its front to access the back, this gets scratched up a lot. So mine is already very scratched, very damaged. No big deal, but something to mention. Here is a bigger gripe that I have with this backpack, unfortunately, is the side access. And although I love that it has it, 
it is for some reason only on one side and it seems to be to give you this extra pocket so you only have it on this side of the backpack. I would have loved to have seen it on both sides because when I'm wearing this backpack for me it's on the wrong side. I would rather it come round this way and me be able to access it from this pocket which right now you can't. There's only one pocket for side access. So that's it. Overall I've been very impressed with this backpack and in terms of price I think it falls in cheaper than both the Peak Design and the Peter McKinnon backpack at around £200 in the UK. I'll put the price on screen now and there are links in the description. Sure there are a few areas it could improve but overall I quite like the design. It's very understated. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this backpack. Do you think it looks good? And what do you think of the features? Also let me know what camera backpack you are using at the moment. I'm always interested to know what people are using. Thanks for tuning in. Again, let me know what you think and I will catch you in the next one.